right, guys, coming back to you again with the second character uh, for characters where I like them. You know, I always do two. Uh, this time, we take it to the DC universe, and another one of my favorite DC heroes. Uh, at first, I was really complaining about why DC did not have him in the relaunch, but I'm explain a little bit. I'll explain later into the video why I now have good feelings about. They might have something for this guy. And as you can see, this is Mr. Jefferson Pierce, a.k.a. Black Lightning. No, no relation to Static at all. But Mr. Jefferson Pierce does have children. Um, Black Lightning. Um, I've always loved Jefferson Pierce, Black Lightning. Um, always had... A very good sense of respect for this character. Uh, first appeared in 1977 in his own comic. Uh, pretty much around the time when a lot of African American characters were coming out, and pretty much most of them were donning, you know, the old afro. You know, you got to remember, 70s was big for the black exportation days, so you know everybody was rocking the fro. Power to the people. <laughs> but um. Jefferson, uh, I've always respected uh, Black Lightning. He was created, um, excuse me, by Tom Isabella and uh, uh, Trevor Von uh, E. Don. And um, Black Lightning was pretty much he he was a uh, he he graduated from. Uh, Garfield High in Metropolis. He grew up in, uh, quote unquote, was the, the 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 ghetto, the slums of Metropolis, called Suicide Slum. Uh, he went on to uh, he when he was in school, he pretty much was like a Olympic decathlon track star, you know, and later became a teacher. Uh, uh, he got it. He got his teaching degree in physics. And he started to work for, uh, you know, the, the same school that he graduated from. Um, he always had his, uh, his, um, his metahuman powers, but he really couldn't really control them in the beginning. So he used to use a, a belt buckle to really, like, uh, you know, control his, uh, his powers. And his major villain in the beginning was this group called the 100. And they were led by Tobias Whale. Um, and after the, after the death of a student named uh, Earl Clifford, Uh, that's when we got to really see the catalyst for Black Lightning, where he came to become, Jefferson became Black Lightning. Um, that really bothered Jefferson a lot to have the death of, to see the death of a student. And with the help of a friend, uh, Peter Gabby, Gabby, you know, they helped, uh, he made a costume for Jefferson, and Black Lightning was born pretty much from there. Uh, now, despite his name, guys, you know it's, it's. I know it sounds really generic, but and and you got also you know and IGN really played that up a lot in their 100 uh, top superhero. They they really pissed me off when they did that because. But despite his name, he's a really good character. Now, over time, Jefferson uh, had he had he had his first child, you know, uh, uh, his first child, Jennifer Pierce, who would be I mean not Jennifer Pierce, excuse me, um, uh, and Anise Pierce, who became uh, the uh, his the hero known as Thunder. And then later on, 
his wife had Jennifer Pierce, who became Lightning. Now, both daughters followed in daddy's footsteps, and they both have shares of, like, thunder or lightning-like powers. So it's, it's, it's still cool <laughs> to see that. His, his daughters are really cool. They, they really are, are something to be in awe about. Um, but over time, the character really, de- <coughs> excuse me, Black Lightning really developed. And he really would protect Suicide Slums. And he really developed a real strong bond and relationship with none other than Batman. Uh, him and Batman really shared, got a really good friendship. And, uh, of course, you know, he was he was a part of the, the Outsiders, you know. And that was later on when uh, Alfred recruited a, 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 a special ops Outsiders team when Batman was missing. Uh, this team was really to stay away from their family in time. So that really played a lot during their run uh but even before that you know black i i really love the fact that dc had put lightning on the justice league you know uh during uh their time uh that was perhaps a good lineup of the justice league in my opinion you know uh and it really showed that black lightning had has come a long way In terms of, you know, who he is and from those days in the 70s and then from now to some some of his ongoing series that really didn't last and so on. But, you know, over time, you know, we started to see like his his status quo started to diminish and it started to hurt me. It started to really like bother me. I'm like, you know, you guys should be pushing lightning. You know, he's. He's such a great character. Here's a character that can re- can create unlimited amounts of electricity through his body. Can can, can, can create all types of le- electricity. You know, we've seen him do uh, uh, yellow lightning to to Jesus Christ. Uh, to he really he f- finally learns how to do. He he finally unlocked uh, black lightning, which was crazy. <laughs> you know, hence the name. Um. But we really started to see him really started to flourish during that time and even really started to make a a dent in the other forms of media like animation. We saw him in the Batman, not just Brave and the Bold, but we seen him in, you know, Batman Crisis on Two Earth, Batman Public Enemy. And during Public Enemy, that was where LeVar Burton had voiced him. Uh, Batman Babe and the Bold, he was a part of the Outsiders. Now, as for Justice League Unlimited, the character Juice was based on him. Black Bolt, Black Bolt Vulcan was based on Black Lightning, but wasn't really him. Uh, but in terms of now, like I said, guys, uh, it really bothered me to see that I, I was always saying, why is he not part of the relaunch? I was saying that about a lot of characters, like Huntress and people like that. But now I'm seeing that that DC is bringing uh bringing her back to the bringing her back, and she's gonna they're gonna start off with like a six part miniseries with her going back to her native country, uh, <laughs> Italy, for a while, and it's supposed to play up ties into the Birds of Prey. So. That's cool. So, but I was saying, but when I, when a lot of people were saying, you know what, don't worry, kid, don't worry, Chris, you know, I've, I'm sure they're going to bring him into the, the, the new, uh, 50, uh, DC universe probably later on next year because DC has said they, uh, they, um, there are other relaunches coming in next year. So, I'm hoping, you know, Jefferson Pierce is a part of that relaunch. I think his he, he has just do. Um, he's a good character, guys. I really enjoy Jefferson Pierce, Black Lightning. Yes, I'll say it. I'll be the first one to say 
Even though I love the guy, his name is generic. It's it's too generic. But he's still a great, intelligent character that I love. And I have faith that DC will probably bring him, maybe not in his own series, but maybe in another team book. Maybe they'll relaunch The Outsiders and he'll be a part of it. But I would definitely love to see DC say, hey, you know what? Let's 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 give let's give Jefferson his own series again. Let's 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 try it out. Hey, we did Mr. Terrific. Let's try it out. Um, that's just the way I look at it. Maybe, maybe. So I I do have a little faith that DC will bring Black Lightning because, in my opinion, it doesn't hurt to try. You know, maybe DC needs to start. You know, stop just bringing out the the usual characters with their with a new ongoing and try to bring out you know the other uh the other characters i wouldn't be surprised if if they do make his book i really would like to see them really do it with the other his daughters you know you know uh uh anise and and, and jennifer being a part of the group you know make it a, a family family thing that's the way i look at it but uh other than that guys you tell me what you think of black lightning do you love him do you hate him do you think he's a waste of ink and space uh but or are you like me you like the character despite his generic name you have a lot of respect for him and uh you tell me guys but other than that, this is Mom Verdon Kid. Saying peace, one love, stay tuned, keep it real, guys. Thank you for listening. And once again, this is Mom Verdon Kid coming to you again with characters why I liked him. Take care and see you next week.